Hello, uh, welcome to the months here at Bolsover. Uh, my name is Sean Adair. I'm the uh, Superintendent Minister of the Derbyshire North East Circuit and the Deputy Chair of the Sheffield District, covering for our Chair, Gillian Newton, while she's on her sabbatical. Our Communications Officer, Sam uh, Roberts, asked me if I would prepare a short devotional for each of the days over this weekend of Holy Week, and I'm glad to do so. I remember a number of years ago being invited, when I was still in Northern Ireland, to a reception, an invitation to meet with the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland um, at Hillsborough Castle, one of the sort of main residences for the Secretary of State. I remember the excitement I felt about getting that invitation. I remember uh, turning over the card and seeing that in small print it said to be sent to all ministers in Northern Ireland. <laughs> and suddenly it didn't seem so special. And yet it was. It was a special invitation and it was a special occasion. Today we think of a meal that was shared together on Monday, Thursday. A meal that involved humili humiliating um, food washing. A meal that involved new meaning being impressed into an old tradition. My body given, my blood shed. And a meal that was infused with much teaching that uh, certainly John would suggest in his gospel captures for us uh, some of the the important stuff that Jesus wanted to make sure was clear before he left them the next day, even though at that stage they had no idea of the horrors of the next 24 hours. As we meet today on Monday, Thursday, whether that's at home or um, in some sort of small physical in-person gathering, whether that's in a, a Zoom service or on Facebook Live, However we connect with our brothers and sisters, or whether we're on our own, today we do think of that meal that they shared. And I'm also mindful of another meal today, a meal that was shared in a parable, a meal that was offered in the parable of the great banquet in Luke chapter 15, uh, verses, sorry, Luke 14, verses 15 to 24. It strikes me because that great banquet, like the one I was invited to, was one that you know we had plenty of notice to go to, and more and more details emerged as it got closer to the event. And yet, when people are finally invited and now is the time to come, they make all sorts of excuses. And they're not good excuses, but they are ways in which they say to the uh, banquet, the one offering the banquet, uh, that it is more important what they're involved in than being his guest. And, of course, the servants in the, uh, the great parable are then sent to go uh, and share the message wider and compel them to come in, make sure they know they can come. And this, of course, resonates with one of our great uh, treasures in the Methodist tradition. Yes, it's shared by others. It's not unique to us, but it's certainly distinctive of us. Our belief in the allness of God, <laughs> that all are invited to the banquet, not just one or some or the predestined or the elect, but all. All are invited. For all, for all my Saviour died, for all my Lord was crucified. And so today, on this Monday Thursday, as we think of this great meal, let us enter into this weekend, this holy weekend, this holy time in our year, these special moments in our faith's history. Let us once again hear the invitation to us in the midst of all the bewilderment of the pandemic, in the midst of all the busyness that I know so many of my colleagues in ministry and many of our folks in our churches are so wrapped up in just now and always are at this time of year. I hope we hear the invitation to us 
uh, to come and be his guest, to spend time with him and to find ourselves restored, renewed, fed, graced by his presence and by being with him. So God bless you today on this uh, Monday, Thursday and uh, every blessing as you journey through this weekend. God bless.